Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody is doing fine, especially with the temperature rising. I hope we are not melting. Um, today, I'm going to share a very quick presentation, and it is about how to select a training provider, or uh, basically the term we like to say, a learning partner. Um, and the focus is on project management. So basically what we are be discussing is a focus on project management, although many of the things we share could be for any type of learning <coughs> and training. Um, basically, uh, we will discuss six factors that organization must consider, at least in our opinion, uh, to select a learning partner and as you can see here there are costs and then we'll focus on the provider product provider innovation and then we'll talk about the consultant and whether that person is a freelance or a dedicated staff member we'll talk about the consultant expertise and the last factor is the workshop itself let's go one by one cost we know today, in the last two years, there has been a lot of cost pressures on organization, and many organization um, reasonably so would want to go for lowest cost. However, what we want to say here is that to be careful. And you really have to think hard about this. To be fair to yourself, to your staff, and to your organization. The reason we say this because it's the main cost when you send people to a workshop. What you pay the provider could vary, you know, between one provider and another, maybe a few thousand dirham um, for the week of training, let's say a week of training. However, the time your employees are there and the time they have to spend in preparation or post training, we're talking about project management here, and whether uh, they will be able to apply what they've learned when they go back. So the biggest cost factor here is your people. Yeah. So please keep that in mind when you are trying to compare cost between providers. And at the end of the day, the old uh, famous word that says, keep in mind, you get what you pay for. What we would like to ask you to consider, and this is of course, this is our recommendation, is to look for the best value. Are you getting the best value? Yeah, so basically value is a combination of price and learning. So you can, keep, uh, you can pay a low price and your employee will not get much out of the training uh, or you can pay very high price and probably your employee will not get much of the training or they maybe they get a little, not worth the price. So what you need to look for is the ideal combination of expertise, uh, learning, innovation, and value. Uh, and the cost, of course, that's the total when you look at the value of a project, of a project, of a learning project. So cost, maybe think value. If we shift to the provider, and what the provider here, we mean the company, not the individual. What is the provider core competence? What we are saying here, is this organization the jack of all trades, but the master of none? What do we mean is that basically, do they have like 100 or 200 or 50 type of courses that we are project management and soft skills and IT and languages and, you know, uh, as we say in Arabic, all the different type of training, or, or do they have a specialty within an area? It, the company itself does not have to have the specialty as long as maybe you have a department or a unit that is focused on project management. So if you want to learn project management, you want to learn it from people that know project management. It's not like somebody who uh, sell, uh, basically sell uh, an Excel class uh, or teach you Chinese and then of course also uh, you know help you learn project management. Um, we are willing to say that you're not going to get the quality you need. Another uh, factor to consider about the provider itself, again, project management is a growing domain. 
it is highly popular however certification is dominating so all of a sudden we find hundreds of providers and individuals selling project management certification training the question here are these providers the companies considered a leader or innovator in project management okay maybe let's not go all the way to being a leader at least are they doing anything in project management do they have a blog on project management do they have have they written any articles about project management do they have any publication on project management uh, they have done any research on project management again the key difference here is that are we looking for someone who borrow a book or you know use a book or a standard or a guide from PMI or someone else and then copy some information on into slides and come and read slide for you and we'll talk about reading a slide later again how comfortable are you with the expertise of the provider now let's shift with this slide and the next one about the consultant itself um, or you know what some people call instructor is he or she you know obviously man or woman a freelancer or a dedicated team member maybe the company you're hiring is also lo looking for lowest cost and they're gonna look around within the community and usually the only criteria they have is someone who have PMP certification unfortunately not everybody who have a PMP uh, certification or even a PGP certification is necessarily an expert in project management and that will be uh, suitable to help your staff learn an important skill like project management so the question here if the organization are using a freelancer which means this person that doing the training is one day is working for them and another day is doing for some somebody else what kind of quality are you gonna get from that yeah or the alternative is this organization have a dedicated team member that specialize in project management and offer project management training and that person is an employee ideally of this company again we consider we think that's an important factor you can decide whether you agree or disagree uh, another slide on the consultant itself does he or she have real project management experience working on real projects I know people can you know uh, say a lot of sweet things look at your uh, CV ask for a CV detailed CV go on the link and profile you know and look through it don't just look at titles and what we mean here is that often enough many people today who had become certified and are teaching training especially certification training are probably people who are sales people or doing some small minor jobs or work for a consultancy never been involved in managing real project where we're talking about project of substance you know maybe what what we mean by this is that you have teams and you have uh, managing the project end to end from idea to closure and uh, there are many people involved in this project uh, not necessarily maybe uh, you know uh, somebody could say yeah I work on a project you know one time we were joking about this and somebody was saying oh making a cup of coffee is a project so why shouldn't why shouldn't it qualify or selling uh, food on a food cart is a project okay great you can get some people like this and um, then you shouldn't wonder why your your people did not learn much the last slide we're going to talk about the last factor is about the class itself is the class mostly lecture and theory basically you have an instructor or a trainer sometimes people use that term as we mentioned before have copied a slide from a Pumba guide or another uh, book put them on uh, 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 copy text and put them on a slide and then start to read to you input tools and techniques and output or reading for your slides you can read yourself yeah if you need someone to read slide for you uh, that's a problem uh, or is the class full of activities on working on real projects basically what we mean by this is that the team you send to training they're gonna work on projects hopefully real project or at least realistic projects especially if they are project from your own company so they can learn how to apply the principles immediately which means they will have a higher retainage of the information and most likely when they go back they will be able to apply yeah maybe another video 
we will talk about applied project-based learning that is the key for learning project management skills. So CAD is on YouTube, on Facebook, on LinkedIn. Uh, you can find us on any of the social media sites by searching for at Zucad group or at Munir Ajam and you will be able to find us. Thank you, Munir Ajam uh, from Sukad, sharing with you how to select a learning partners. Thank you.